Going out to five. Yo, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. You recognize this chump right here? My God. <clears throat> Hold on. <sighs> do you recognize this absolute loony? No, I'm sure you do. Life and Scars, a man who, uh, you know, we've all seen his face because he said he enjoyed uh, how to get away with beating women, shit like that, you know. He made some interesting content that I would describe as, uh, but funny how life works, hey? The man has been arrested for, be for allegedly beating up a woman. So he actually told us how to get away with beating a bitch but he couldn't quite do it himself so if I was you I'd probably avoid following his life advice I think if you spoke to a dog it would be able to give you better life advice than this gentleman right here because he clearly can't get away with beating uh, so he was arrested for allegedly beating up a woman it was on X uh, and then he has been released uh, he did a stream so this is him when he was released game is game out of jail Nigga! Nigga! Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, man. Nigga, it wasn't no talking it out at that point. I was enjoying that stream. My dick was on hard. We had some nice titties and shit. And I'm sorry, but that really pissed me the fuck off. And I had to get my get back, nigga. It is. <laughs> so I wouldn't listen to this man for any longer than I have to, but he's been arrested and I thought let's just, you know, see what life advice he could give us because he seems like such an interesting individual or someone who we should really take inspiration from. How to legally beat a bitch. Guys, you ever want to beat the shit out of a bitch, but you're afraid that the judge might not see it your way? Well, I got the solution. It's sports. Think about it. If you take your bitch to play baseball and you pitch it and she at bat, you can wind that ball back and hit that bitch square in the throat. She won't be awarded no lawsuit. The only thing she's going to be awarded is first base. <laughs> so if you did want to get away with beating your bitch, listen to this guy and just lob balls at people. You know, sports is great, you know, because it's a way of actually being able to hurt people and, um, you know, fall out with people with it. Then, you know, you shake their hand at the end. Not this guy. This guy just wants to beat the shit out of her while playing baseball. Or gymnastics. Just because you throw a bitch up in the air, don't mean you have to catch him. <laughs> it's a valid point, bro. You know, he's just like, Sir, I'm sorry, officer. I slipped. I, I know I threw her 50 yards in the air, but I'm, so, I'm sorry I slipped. I couldn't catch her. She's too big. She broke her neck and she died. That's not my fault, dog. Or flag football. If you tackle a bitch in real life, you can get up to 15 years. But if you do it on the field, it's only 15 yards. Automatic first down. Or basketball. Whenever you see your bitch going up for a layup or trying to shoot a shot, you can wind your foot back and kick that bitch straight in the pussy. <laughs> well, that's another bit of life advice. You can wind it up and kick her straight in the pussy. So this guy's got quite a following, you know, 4.4 million likes, 350k followers. Um, let's see how he advises to drive drunk. Look, guys, we already know your dumb ass shouldn't be driving drunk, but you're a grown ass man and you're going to do what the fuck you want to do. So me telling you that ain't going to really help you. So if you're going to do this shit, listen up. Um... I need you to take a piss. That's the first thing you need to do before you leave. I need you to take a piss. Try to get as much of that alcohol out of your system as possible. This guy has got as much information that correct as the Bible does. I mean, this is just utter shit. Alcohol, if you piss, does not get rid of it. You know what I mean? You don't sober up after a piss. If you sobered up after a piss, my God, you would never get drunk. I'm, mean, You know, after a few beers, you go into the toilet every 12 minutes. You know what I mean? You and your mates are cycling in and out so you don't get your table stolen. Like, it doesn't help you. I also need you to... Get a water or a coffee. Coffee would be better because you're trying to get a little energy in your system. Um, when you get in the car, I need you to put on your seatbelt and I need you to turn on the headlights. So basically just do what you would normally do. This guy's an absolute wham damn fanky bam. You know what I mean? This guy does not give me any advice that I'm going to listen to. I mean, he has got a fair few views to be fair, but he sort of fell off recently, didn't he? I mean, he, he, that's the problem in it with people. I just laugh so hard what, looking at this picture and just knowing this man is just a piece of shit. You know, people like this don't deserve anything, especially that fame, you know, that sort of TikTok influencer type thing that he was trying to do when really he's just a piece of shit who is, you know, a nasty human being, I presume. People, honestly, it was kind of funny when it had to beat a bitch take her to a sports game and you know get her on the field and oh spear tackle her oh she's dead you know that's just dog shit utter utter wham I'd like to thank the police for uh you know doing their job but life in scars bro he's just a bit of a bad dude isn't he go go check out his channel if you want to be horrified by uh some terrible life advice and what not to do life in scars it's terrible 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 name as well but yeah he, he did shit with Ad Aiden Ross and that like how fucked up is that bro how's he doing that and then he's going around elbowing chicks in the face like pfft.
dude. Game is the game. Man got arrested and it's kind of funny. Unlucky dude. Rest in peace, you piece of shit. I have nothing else to add, really. People like this just... Wow. I mean, this guy's going to go to court. He'll have his lawyer try help him. And he'll be like, you literally made videos on how to beat a bitch. I mean, uh, poli uh, and slam the police and judges for believing the Native Amer Afri American woman. So he's also slightly racist. Oh, the dude just gets better and better the more you find out about him. But yeah, you know, imagine that you take him to court and he's like, well, you literally filmed it, giving invi advice on what you, you know, you do, beating women, drunk driving, that sort of shit. You've got nowhere to really go, mate. I think you're toasted. He's going to be in jail. He'll probably go to jail. If you don't go to jail, then that sums up the police for you, doesn't it? Bloody rubbish, mate. Bloody rubbish. All jokes aside, though, I hope the lady's okay. I hope this piece of shit ain't okay. And I hope he never makes a TikTok again. So I have to be put through more misery of how to not commit a crime. You know what I mean? If you want real crime advice, boys, I'll send you to a secret place, a secret link. We can have a little catch up. How to get away with things that nobody else knows. Us English, we have a way of dealing with things. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? The long forgotten pill will quickly unclog blood vessels. Well, we're going to need that after that fucking vaccine. Hey, eh? hey, boys. Hey. No, I'm kidding, boys. We're all happy, aren't we? I ain't got a register nothing. Anyway, this guy's dead in the water, bro. I think if, if you were going to put money on anyone being a bit of a fucking twat, it would probably have been him. It would have been for me anyway. Fuck this kid.